The third generation Audi TT debuted back in 2014. Since then, we've all been waiting patiently for the new 2018 Audi TT RS. It's been worth it. The TT RS packs an all new inline 5 that uses aluminum Ford's block and crankcase and magnesium for the oil sump. It's both lighter and more powerful than the outgoing TT RS 5 pod will help. The TT RS makes nearly double the power of the base model. Audi has been perfecting the five cylinder engine for decades, and this is arguably the best one short of a full blown rally car. While the base TTRS starts at $65,875, this particular example had a number of options that pushed the price just north of $80k. This includes the $3,500 technology package with upgraded infotainment and audio system and the carbon fiber trim performance options include the $1,000 sport exhaust, well worth it, and the $6,000 dynamic plus package that swaps the magnetic suspension for a fixed setup, adds front ceramic brakes and raises the top speed to 174 mph while performance numbers for the TT. RS ahead of the Porsche 718 Cayman S, the BMW M2 and even the old Cayman GT4. Editor-in-Chief Greg Migliori, 5 cylinders, that's brilliant, I kept thinking that over and over during my morning drive in the TTRS what a pocket rocket it buzzes and growls on downshifts, the acceleration is strong, even and purposeful, the 7-speed dual clutch is smooth yet aggressive, I queued up sport mode, and this thing remained in second gear for as long as I felt like staying on the throttle, the cabin offers great visibility, the TT is where Audi's virtual cockpit debut, and it remains the purest execution of the technology, it feels more distilled than a sports car, and that's a good feat. This tester is done up in with carbon finishings, suede and black leather, making for one of my favorite interior schemes the last time I drove the TTRS. I had a professional raw checker driver behind me on a track near Madrid. The intervals were spaced, but still. And some of that old adrenaline returned during tight cornering and exuberant launches.